this feature definitely comes into play. All right, do it. There you go, buddy. Looking good. Oh, we get some quick. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Vix Venerated Vlogs. Um, it's early morning, so sun hadn't really come out yet, but I'm traveling with one of my buddies. We're going to go to a special event that was sent to me to drive the Bronco. So I'm excited to see what it brings. Brooks is going to join me today. He'll probably do some recording. He also has a Bronco on order and we're both, well, I'm contemplating the Raptor, but he's for sure getting a Raptor. So we'll see how that goes and we'll keep you posted along this journey. Stay tuned. So about a week and a half ago, I received an email from Ford that asked if I wanted to participate in a Drive the Bronco event at one of the local off-road parks here near Dallas-Fort Worth. Of course, I said yes, it was free. All I had to do was sign up and send my order number to let them know that I truly had a Bronco on order. And that's all it took. On top of that, I did consider, and I still am considering going to the off-rodeo down near Austin. Of course, there's a few different off-rodeos sponsored by Ford, but the one closest to me, of course, is in Austin, just south of Dallas. And I was going to participate in that, and Brooks was gonna come with me too. So that might still happen, but I want to compare the videos that I've seen for people going to the off-rodeo to this one. So this one is only about an hour or so, I think, but it was free, it was close, and I got invited to it. So why not take advantage of that to drive the Bronco? I feel that the event will provide probably Badlands because it's the most off-road capable Bronco, but we'll see what they put us in. I don't know if we'll have a choice and if it's a four door, two door, I don't know anything. I'm just going to show up to see what they have to offer. So I'll keep everybody posted. And throughout this trip, this journey, um, do some video, see what type of footage I can get and see how the event goes. So here we go. It's so cool, people. It's so cool. So in one of my last videos, I discussed why I wanted a Bronco, the features I wanted and all those things. And even though some of those attributes changed since my initial video, and I'm trying to keep it under wraps so you see what I have coming, um, I'm gonna just let you talk to Brooks or let you hear from Brooks to see why he went with the Bronco because like I said, he's my neighbor, but he lives, you know, a street over. And we're really good friends. Our families hang out and everything, but we're looking forward to some off-road adventures. So Brooks, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you are choosing the Bronco and what version you're going with? This will actually be my second Bronco. I had one in my younger days and I've always wanted it once they started bringing it back, this has been my dream vehicle. And with me, I want the best one that I can get. So that's why I'm going with the Raptor. It'll probably more likely be a Mall Queen than an off-road beast. But I still want the one that's the most capable, the most fun. So whenever Vic does want to go do something stupid, I can go along with him and not worry about getting stuck or trashing out or anything like that. So it will get used, but it will be my daily driver. And so I wanna have fun, get around Dallas, you gotta be able to get up to speed pretty quickly. So I want the biggest motor. I am kind of concerned with the 37s, since that's stock now. I thought they were gonna come with 35s, but get out here, try it out, see how it goes and go from there. So he mentioned doing something <clears throat> stupid. Uh, well, I've had a few razors and I've done a lot of crazy stuff. I love off-roading. Uh, but I think I'll be more gentle with my Bronco because I don't plan on towing my Bronco to wherever I go to ride and drive. Uh, I am going to drive it and I want to drive home. So it'll be less stupidness and stupidity going on. But I am going to do some stuff. Don't get it twisted. So many of you might want to know about what the process was to get this thing scheduled. So many of you might be wondering what the process was to get this thing going. I received an email from Ford. The email prompted me to enter my email address to verify myself as well as my order number. From there, it gave me a different screen that allowed me to view a calendar with calendar dates available as well as times during that day. I chose an early morning time frame, 
My time slot was at 8.45. They want you and require you to be there 15 minutes early. So that's why I'm starting my day off so early before the sun's coming up, trying to make this road trip uh, over to the off-road park. But one thing is I forgot all of my camera equipment. Turn right on State Highway 101. Thank you so much. Um, so I forgot all my equipment. So along with me trying to do some recording, I mean, I can only well, I'm the only driver that can drive the vehicle because of my reservation. But Brooks is coming along and hopefully he can get some good recording done while I'm driving. That work for you, Brooks? Work for me, brother. All right, let's go. Let's see how it goes. We're about to pull up soon. You just heard on the navigation. We're almost there. See you in a second. some look at the big bronco tent i see a few i don't see any badges there's no white one i mean it's no badge on the white one i see at least two with the sasquatch package I see a two door over here so i went to do a quick check-in and make sure everything was a go uh, they asked me to wait a few minutes. They were still getting set up because again, we are the first appointment for the day. So I'm super excited. They have the actual Bronco banners. They have the Broncos lined up, two doors, four doors, all different trims. I don't know if I'll get to choose mine, if they're going to assign me one based on my reservation, which is the Badlands, but we'll see. I'm excited. I mean, I'm the first one here. I think they're going to cater to us. Let's see. And we'll go from there. So Brooks, what do you think, man? So far, we pulled up. What do you think? I mainly want to check out some of the different trims just so I got a feel of, especially the interior, how it's going to work for my family. Like I said, mine's intended to be a daily driver. So I got to make sure it fits my family, my needs. So I'm really interested in that. Uh, and they do have a wide assortment. So now you can kind of compare and contrast. So it's a lot to understand online and trying to research it and look at photos. But it's a whole new thing when you get to actually crawl in, look at them, compare and contrast, and how it's going to work in the real world. So I'm, I'm very interested to see the, the different trims and some of the packages they have to know what's going to work best for me. Even though I'm, I'm focusing on the Raptor, I want to see what these things look like. So if some of these are options on the Raptors, because we still don't know what that is yet. We don't know what the options are yet. I want to see how that's going to work for me. What's your color preference? Uh, right now I'm torn uh, between Area 51 and the coat orange on the Raptor. I'm, I'm not an orange guy, but for some reason that one kind of grabbed me. Uh, I do like the cactus gray as well, but I am leaning more towards the Area 51 or the coat orange at this point. All right, let's go. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you today? Hey, we're good. Good, are you here for the E45 time slot? Absolutely. Wonderful. Look I'll take this. the Bronco so reservation nice. holder, and my friend will take the guest, and if you both have your driver's license handy, we'll get you squared away, okay? Thank you. Hey, this is crazy. So we have some other Bronco celebrities here. I'm going to let you meet them in just a minute. So who just greeted me? I'm going to let her tell you. Hold on. Hi, friends. It's Amanda from Our Bronco Life. And we want to give Victor our Bronco reservation holder. Hey, I think I made it. I made it. Mama, I made it. Look, I'm all in. I'm like a fanboy. You see this? Hold on. Let me. I'm not even a hat guy like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got a sticker. Look, Mom, I got a sticker. There we go. Oh, it's about to go down, y'all. <laughs> we about to meet some crazy people out here. We're going to have a good time. Not crazy in a bad way because I forgot all my camera gear. So we're all iPhoning it up today, but this is going to be awesome. Still going to be quality. Still going to be quality. <laughs> that 4K, that 4K. <laughs> so many of you might know who this guy is, but if you do not know who this guy is, I'm going to let him introduce himself because he is a current Bronco owner and he's got several things on his channel. So tell him a little bit about your name and what your channel is. So I'm Sean, half of our Bronco life. My wife Amanda is the other half and we have our four-door Outer Banks hardtop. 
and we get to play with nine of these for the next few months here giving some great drives with the new Bronco to customers. So I don't know what he did to get this job, <laughs> but I think I want to sign up. I mean, he's got a lot of cool tutorials on how to do things with the Bronco and some things they've changed out or are looking at. So if you have not already, check out his channel as well. Tell me your channel name one more time. Thank you. Our Bronco Life is our channel. Yeah, it's pretty cool, y'all. Check it out. You know, he's cool. He's got cool shades and all that. That's right. He's inspired me. <laughs> I think I might want to do the same. All, all right. right. <laughs> so while we're waiting a little bit, would you just tell us a little bit about what today looks like and the experience that we'll get here as opposed to like the off-rodeo? Sure. So this is an extension of the off-rodeo. We like to say that this is your appetizer. Off-rodeo is the main course. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing here is giving customers the opportunity to drive a Bronco uh, on an off-road curated course that we've created for you. So it's not your average test drive. You get an opportunity to drive one for about 30 minutes with a trail guide sitting up front with you, coaching you through a lot of the advanced 4x4 capabilities. So we got professional trail guides that will walk you through proper use of the 4x4, different when would you use the lockers, the camera tech, and a lot of the product info in the vehicle with you. Uh, once you're done with that, we encourage you to go sign up for the off-rodeo and then have a full day experience because the off-rodeo is a 10-hour day. You have about six to seven hours of real time. Great experience with those four locations. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Well, first and foremost, thank you guys so much for coming out here. This is a really unique experience providing that one-on-one -on -one kind of interaction with this vehicle so that when you guys take delivery of yours, you can get out there and have some fun. My name's Margo. I've been in this industry for, gosh, about 10 years now, uh, traveling around with different kind of Ford, Ford vehicles. This has been my favorite event so far, but I might be biased because I actually have an order in for one too. So I've been on that <laughs> lovely roller coaster that you guys all have been on. But uh, lots of fun. This vehicle is just amazing. As you can see, we've got a, a great lineup for you here. We've got uh, a trail guide that'll be riding alongside of you. Now, they're not only knowledgeable on these trails, but they're knowledgeable on off-roading in de general. They've got different backgrounds. So we've got anywhere from your kind of uh, military, we've got stunt drivers, overlanding, rally car racers. So pay attention to them um, and you're gonna have that best experience possible. While you're out there, we're gonna look for those rocks. We're gonna keep our eyes out there for the rocks. Um, don't wanna kind of sideswipe them on that tunnel. We don't wanna bust a tire. Um, you get to do some water fording at the end, which is pretty stinking cool. Um, side note on that, we've got best in class with that Sasquatch package, so 33.5. So you'll be able to take a peek at that. While you're out there, there's a lot of different um, features on these vehicles that you'll get to experience. You've got anywhere from your Copilot 360, you've got the 360 view camera, you've got your different goat modes, four low, two high, those hero switches up top. So you've got that stabilizer bar disconnect, front rear locking differentials, trail turn assists, heated seats on a morning like this, right? <laughs> so not only is Ford luxury, but it's uh, just as capable off-roading as well. So you've got the best of both worlds. Now, if there's something specific that you guys want to learn about or take a peek at, um, ask upon your driver, especially if you're not going it over it out there. Um, so at least uh, you get out there with the knowledge that you need. Um, if you love what's going on out here, you're gonna love Bronco Off Rodeo. Um, we've got a little area where you can kind of get that ball rolling with that if you guys haven't done that already. Um, I know Austin's close. Have either of you guys been to Off-Rodeo yet? No. Okay, perfect, perfect. So definitely ask upon and we can help you through that when you get done. Um, as you can see, we've got the four doors. Four doors just so happen to have our four cylinder engine in them. Two doors just so happen to have the six cylinder engine in them. While you are in there, uh, we'll have you guys mask up. Our right seaters will wear their mask seat masks as well. We do sanitize in between each person getting in and out of the vehicle. Seatbelts mandatory, having fun is mandatory. And we're really excited to hear your experience when you get back. Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, all right. I'm going to radio your right seaters. They're going to come and snag you and we'll get you in out there. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so I just got with my, what was your title be? You, my, my driver? My. Uh, I'm your trail guide. My trail guide. This yeah. is one. So everybody say hello to one. How are you? We're going to be in a Badlands four door today, just like the one I ordered. Well, similar to the one I ordered because I got some special tricks up my sleeve. But he's going to be helping me to navigate today and go over the things with the different modes on this off road event. So, Juan, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. I'm glad you made it. All right. <laughs> yes, let's, let's do this. <laughs>
There we go, that's Mud and Ruts. Yeah. So Mud and Ruts is cool because uh, it's one of those drive modes that keeps the camera on at all times, mm -hmm. okay? And then if you tap this tile on the on the left left hand corner, go ahead and tap tap it. You have more of a menu. Mm -hmm. Tap the first one, and you'll see what's cool about it. So you have the split view. You do have the split view in the other drive modes, but you don't have the track lines. Okay. Those track lines are your spotter at the end of the day, man. There's gonna be moments out there you won't be able to see over the hood, um, and so these. Go ahead and turn the wheel left or right, and you'll notice that it'll help you a great deal managing your space and finding, find, you know, determining your your trajectory out there. Okay. And so we'll be. And don't these line up with the trail sites as well? Well, yeah, well, the trail sites. Good question, man. So the trail sites are old school, man. If you don't have this technology, yes, you have to resort to the to the trail sites. Okay. And the sight lines in the front hood. So we still have them there. Uh, in the 1966, it was in the sheet metal. We still have them there, and they're mounting bolts for accessories now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's a uh, that's yeah old school. So um, outer banks and, and underneath all those trims, they don't have this technology, so you have to resort to using the. And then you can you know go ahead and try it out there. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So here uh, we're gonna we're, I'm gonna disconnect the the rear locker because for this we don't need it. Um, mud and ruts will. We map your, your, your the whole system, yes, sir. and so your acceleration is gonna feel different than if you were in Baja mode. You do have Baja in the Badlands, which is cool. Yeah. How you liking it so far, man? How's the comfort, Victor? Oh, I mean, I love it. I've driven a few Broncos as I'm waiting on mine, and this just feels good. I just can't wait to do this on my own. I've done this off-road park in my Razor. Oh, okay, times, awesome, man. But not in the Bronco, so this is amazing. Look at our articulation; it looks good. Yeah, so that that is a Badlands in front of us. With the Sasquatch package, is that how you're ordering yours? Yes, I have a Badlands with Sasquatch. Very cool. At this moment, we do have the standard tires, which are all terrain on this one. Uh, they're 33s. Uh, those are 35s, mud tires. Yeah. These are your hero switches here, and so for the Badlands, you have every single switch uh, on the on the dash here. The first one's the stabilizer disconnect. The second one is to lock your front diff. The third one is your rear diff. And then the fourth one is a uh, trail turn assist. Okay, we'll we'll be engaging that, and then and then traction control. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Uh, most likely, what they did, Victor. Let me let's go over here. You see, straighten out the wheel. You see that return arrow right there? Yes. Go ahead and press it once. You'll go to a sub menu. Mm -hmm. It says pitch and roll with the arrow. Go down the pitch and roll. Okay. And then press OK uh, really quick. Now we get some readings there. The bottom reading is degrees for roll. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna drive up on the banking, so you're gonna be able to see how steep uh, that banking is uh, from side to side. The center one's your steering input, the top one is pitch, that's incline and descent, okay? Okay. All right, so let's drive forward to that banking over there. Victor, so here, we're gonna come up to this banking, <clears throat> and I, I want you to try to do your best to get as high up on the left side of the banking, to on the, on the high side, without dropping uh, on the other side with your left tire. And then as you do that crawling speed, mm -hmm. uh, check out the cluster and what's it reading there for roll right now? 12%. I, it, yeah, 13. 13 degrees there, yeah. yeah. Keep climbing a little higher. I think you can probably find a, a 15 there, 14. Go a little higher. Oh, that's so off camera. And 15, there yeah. you go, buddy, nice that's job. crazy. All right, let's start driving down. So, uh, yeah, that is something that you may, uh, it's great to have because I would say anything over 25, start being careful. Make sure you read the terrain properly. There could be undulations, rocks, or, and, and it can just take a little rock. And, and then, you know, if you're over 25, it could be a little, you know, sketchy. <laughs> yeah, it feels weird in the Bronco. In the Razor, man, I'll be all sideways, but yeah, yeah it's a little bit different <laughs> in a full-size vehicle. So you have two cruise control systems in your vehicle. You have a cruise control for the highway, you have one for the trails. And, and so the way to turn on the trail control is by pressing the middle button on the gold dial. Okay. And when you press and release it, you'll notice on the, on the cluster, it lets you know that you can set it, okay? And so the way you set it is just like cruise control, you wanna uh, set a certain speed. And so you go here to this plus or minus and set it to about 10 miles per hour. Okay. Press it, press and release it, press and release it, and you'll notice you'll be going up. Okay. There. Now, when you're in four high, you can set your speed anywhere from one to 20 miles per hour. Okay. When you're in four low, you can set it up to 10. 
Okay. And you can set your speed up to five in reverse, okay? We're gonna do 10 miles per hour because it's kind of bumpy here and I want you to feel your independent suspension okay. on this kind of terrain, okay? All right, off we go. Victor, so uh, this is kind of a, like a, you know, nice level um, terrain. Let's do about 25. There you go. I think the speed limit out here is 20, but I don't think they'll mind if we do 25. Uh, go right up here. And then uh, it's kind of blind here, so you want to be on the right side because there are other vehicles out here. Do you ever have you ever been out here on a Sunday? Yes. How cool, man, huh? Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I've done several different events out here. Whether it was me doing things in my Razor or coming to different events like off-roading events. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've been out here numerous days. Yeah. So this whole area here on Sunday was packed with people parked everywhere and spectating. There was a couple of uh, uh, vehicles that were uh, rock crawling. Yeah. Uh, this section over here. Yeah. Have you seen them do it? Absolutely. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a big insane. rock wall over here. Yeah. That they will come up. Yep. And what we would do is some of the things we can't do in a razor because they were true rock bouncers doing them. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool to watch. Now I, I can admit I've come up here on my razor before. On that other side. On that other side. Yeah. Because that's like even even <laughs> more aggressive. Yes. So here. Uh, we'll stay on the right side of the cones. We'll go down to that puddle. We'll stop and then we're gonna assess what we're gonna do. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, buddy The trail takes you to the left and over to the top there. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of loose rocks um, I want you so if we lock our rear diff, it'll be too easy mm -hmm. I, I don't want it to be easy. I want you to feel your 4x4 system work So we're just gonna go up this right here with 4x4. Okay. Okay. And so you'll notice when a wheel starts to slip It'll lock, and then if it's happening in the front diff, um, both tires will move at the same time, and then because the, it's an open diff, it'll disengage. But it'll get you past, you know. Uh -huh. It'll get you. Uh, it'll give you the grip you need to, to keep going. Um, and so, how about you do this, uh, Victor, at three, four miles per hour without stopping? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Very good. No, no mode. Just straight. No, yeah, straight up. All right. Steady throttle. Don't come to a stop and keep your momentum it's a lot of loose rock i'm sure you've done this stuff with your razor so it's going to be uh very familiar to you we're going to the right correct you can be anywhere but keep your momentum you're going a little bit too slow let's do about three four miles per hour there you go buddy and then one left over there not even losing grip good no, job buddy nice. you're a professional man <laughs> <laughs> there you go did you feel how it, it started to work there? Yeah, I yeah. Felt a little that. bit of slippage, and then it would lock and let go, lock and let go. Well, what I like about this experience is it allows you to see what the vehicle can really do. I mean, this is not even using any type of mode. This is just four by four wheeling right now. I like it, and I mean, at no point did I feel uncomfortable. It felt smooth. This is nice. You felt in control. You felt you had grip. You felt that you were confident to go up that hill. No yeah. problem, right? And unlike the Razor, I'm not freezing right now because I have doors and windows. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a B&O sound system, I too. Do. Man. We do have to play with that, but yes. Yeah. Notice, notice. Um, the off camber. The left rear tire is completely off the ground. Yeah. How about we get it down to the ground? Uh, I've been waiting for this. Let's do it, buddy. Yeah, do it. All right. Boom. <laughs> okay, so it just articulated the front suspension, the front uh, uh, articulated, and then it translates to the back. And now all four wheels are touching the ground. You That's have better so cool. chances of grip. How about we do something? Turn on the trail control. Okay. Set it at two miles per hour. Okay. And and then just just maneuver down the hill. With uh, trail control, which is a cruise control on on the on the plus. Yeah. Two so, miles. There you go. Okay. Let go of the brake. And now it's gonna go. Oh, That's yeah. So nice. it's applying brakes to hold you at two miles per hour. Now I'll tell you this: on something like this, um, doing a different type of off-roading, like with another type of vehicle, mm -hmm. just outside a razor. I mean, sometimes it's not as steep, and you're going in a descent. So yeah, you're riding a brake, but just to yeah. be able. I mean, I'm kind of hovering to just balance it. To balance I'm not it. used yep. to it, but this feels good and. To get to learn all the different techniques that this vehicle offers, this is amazing. Let's come to a stop here. Okay. Put it in reverse. Let go of the brake. Set at, on the fly, set your speed, give it two miles per hour. 
And so now you're cruise control in reverse. in reverse. You might be on a trail where you can't go any further and you, <laughs> you, and you were climbing technically, you can technically come back the same way. Oh, wow. Isn't that awesome, man? That is, that's amazing. It and is. it's no effort, it's just doing its thing. I mean, I'm keeping it in alignment with the trail, but. You sure are, man, you're doing a great job with that. You do have this too. Uh, full view. Oh, that's yeah. That screen, oh my God, is massive. That's yeah, worth having, man. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Yeah, you just climbed the same way you came. This is fun. In reverse, y'all. In, re <laughs> In reverse, everybody. Top deck. Awesome, man. Okay, uh, Victor, the feature you're gonna try now is not exclusive, but uh, I bring it up because every single Ford has it, uh, automatic or manual. So if you're, uh, you know, going up a hill, and uh and you may have traffic and there's somebody on your bumper and uh you get a green light and you gotta go take your foot off the brake it'll hold you here for about two seconds and then it rolls back so it'll help you transition okay so you don't have the two foot yeah you don't have the two foot you don't have to try to balance it okay. so there's plenty of time to transition great to have if you have a manual transmission okay yeah but across the board every single ford has it yeah. i like that yeah. okay Right. I mean, I'd right now it's be called Hill Assist. Break. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. See, that's really beneficial to see those tire treads on the screen yeah. to see what your placement is. So let's let's stop here and well, actually, let's go forward a little bit so we can see the terrain. All right. So see, let's stop right here. Left in the hole. Uh huh. Your left front yep. in the hole and your left rear on the very top of that mobile. Gotcha. And then we'll get some articulate. We'll get some tires off the ground. There you go. That's good trajectory. Yeah. How you doing, Victor? Oh, it's good. That tire's completely off the ground. Okay. All right. Go ahead and disconnect the stabilizer bar. Let me step back. Let me step back. All right. Do it. There you go, buddy. Awesome. Okay, Victor, so so um, I'm sure you read about it, trail turn assist, okay? Yeah. So you have it here, it's an automatic transmission, that feature comes with the automatics. That turns it on, Victor. Okay. That turns on the, 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 the feature, but it's not engaged. Uh, when it engages is when you turn the wheel all the way to the left, let's say if you're making a left turn. And so what will happen is when you turn the wheel all the way to the left, when you can't turn anymore, you go to wheel lock, it'll lock the rear left uh, wheel and, it'll, and then the right tire wheel will, will rotate and get us and get us going forward and then it'll pivot just like a tractor, okay? okay? And so the system only works under 12 miles per hour, okay. right? So how about we try it? Turn the wheel all the way to the left. You're gonna hear a funky noise, oh. but that's just letting you know that it's, it's activated. Hold the wheel. And in your mind, when, when you go to wheel lock, Victor, it's like slamming the brake in that rear tire, okay? Yeah. Let's give it gas now. Okay. And we'll Victor's about to demo trail turn assist. And so the right rear tire is completely, it's, it's like locking and the vehicle's pivoting in one place, just like tractors. So in, in places or trails where there's uh, a lot of switchbacks, not a lot of room to make a, a three point turn, this feature definitely comes into play and helps you out, helps you uh, reduce your turning radius. He's doing a great job. Full circle, man, look at that. Awesome. You did a perfect circle. I'm a pro, man. Hey, of course you are, buddy. <laughs> That's my perfect circle from the trail turn assist. Yes, I did that. Leave my mark on the earth. Here, um, it's very narrow. Use, um, use your, um, your camera there. Your, the screen so you can align yourself and and uh, make sure that you're on the right trajectory and you're doing great and so um this this these these track lines are your your spotter yeah um you know there's gonna be a point where you can't see sight lines are nice to have but the camera is a game changer it is yeah and you can assess what's on the other side um before yeah, you drop of off descent, yeah. mm -hmm. and so it helps you a lot you know here it's kind of rocky and bumpy um you know you, you, for this you don't need articulation but if you disconnect the stabilizer bar it'll be a softer ride going over this stuff yeah okay. yeah there's more travel with the front suspension and that translates to the back too 
it's more of a level right level it right is to, level and yep. it's just mm -hmm. so cushiony and this is not even a 35 inch tire this is the 33 it's not a 35 inch tire but it still feels good yeah it's comfortable you can get pretty you can get away with a lot with 33s um you know if i mean you can also get to to a place where you you, you know like you may roll it over <laughs> Well, that's what I don't want to do. Yeah, that's what you don't want to do. <laughs> yeah. At least not in the first few years of ownership. <laughs> <laughs> so in this part of the on this part of the trail, Victor, you're more than welcome. There's you have two um, two trails you can take the the high side on the right or just drive through the mud there. It's not very deep. Uh, but I kind of want to do the mud. Yeah, let's, just because. Let, let's do the mud, buddy. All right. So <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna switch. Is it already in mud? It is in mud and ruts. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. So, so before I go through this, mm -hmm. should I take it at a faster pace, at a slow pace? Because I don't want to get stuck. So tell me, based on this terrain, what would be the best speed to tackle this? Or good question, Victor. So that is kind of there's a ton of grip on that mud. But if you're if you're about to venture into a puddle that you're not familiar with, you definitely want to lock your rear diff. Okay. And, and, so should and, I do that in this case? Uh, you can. Uh, how about we get in it? We stop and maybe i doubt we'll get stuck but if we feel a little bit of, of uh wheel spin we can lock the rear diff you know let's go yeah, let's do it yep and so let's stop right here and just kind of sink a little bit yeah i see yep. it you there. see all that this is this cool 360 degree top aerial view and then you see from the front where we are in the mud uh, i see how you're saying it's not as deep once i'm in it mm -hmm. but coming from an angle you don't know what you're anticipating or what to anticipate rather so we're in it now i kind of want to see if without the rear diff lock yeah. if we can pull out yeah, Let's yeah try. so your traction control is going to kick in not even not even i mean <laughs> that low torque is just <laughs> what are you doing okay yeah yeah so here it's not that deep uh well you don't know that you don't know yeah pulling into mm -hmm. it so mm -hmm. it just looks like i mean uh, little ponds yeah it looks like a lake is there any mode i need to be in for this or just shoot for it i mean not gun it but just good question so so you know um you definitely want to take care of your, of your engine um ideally you want to go at a low speed because there could be a hole there could be a rock and then if you hit it hard uh you can cause some damage right. and so you want to go two three miles per hour over this and and try not to create a, a wave in front of the front mm -hmm. bumper so the, that way you prevent water to come into the engine bay okay. uh it's always nice to keep that engine bay nice and clean and you definitely don't want the consistent water over over into the engine bay because you can get some in the intake and then you can lock your engine yeah. and so and so you got to be careful with all that we the the bronco does come with a flap in, in front of the like in, inside the engine, the intake so it, it, it is there to prevent water from seeping into the intake but you always want to be take care you know you always want to take care of your equipment and Absolutely. prevent all that stuff yeah especially for the price point we're paying oh yeah <laughs> look at that that is so awesome you see a front view you see a top view creating little waves oh that's crazy yeah i'm glad i selected the package i did yeah definitely definitely the technology is a plus yeah, and it'll it'll allow you to conquer uh you know like more aggressive um challenges you know mm -hmm. yeah, and it'll make it fun for you all right i'm gonna show here on the camera where you're about to conquer okay there's a a track that line that takes you up to that step and that's the track line for the right front tire okay so the lowest step yep the all lower right. step okay start uh lining yourself up you use your tools you do have the camera you have the track line there notice the 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 rock has a sh sharp edge and so if you're too far to the right you can talk you can cut your tire yeah okay so here we go looking good let me just lower the window so i can i'm, I'm just gonna stick my head out a little bit here and uh you're looking good uh go straight here you got a good trajectory go straight and then before climbing turn keep going keep going turn left turn left keep keep the wheel straight now straighten it up okay go a little closer stop right there okay victor you're lined up buddy okay okay now we're gonna do a couple of things i'm gonna turn off 
the sensors from the bumper because they make a, a lot of noise. You know, I've seen a lot of videos with that. Uh -huh. So now I know where that is to yeah. turn it off. So when I'm crawling and I get that yeah. to turn it off. So folks, it's great to have. This is that parking sensor that you just heard and probably saw as I was nearing the rock. It was beeping at me. Press this to turn it on and off. It says clearly off. Awesome. Okay, so you're lined up. Okay, let's do a few steps. Okay. So the only time, Victor, that you can lock your, your front diff is when you're in forward low. Okay. And so anything on the left side, on the right side of my finger, you can engage on the fly. Um, on the left side, it's uh, forward low. You have to come to a stop and, and put in neutral and then engage it. Okay, Victor, so we, we're in forward low and turn the dial and look for, for rock and crawl. That'll be your last selection on the on the on the screen there. Boom. All right. So immediately mm. it disengaged the stabilizer bar. It locked your rear diff, and now you're in four low, and so you can lock your front diff. And by the way, you, it, there's no sequence to this. So you can turn them on and off as however as you need them. Okay. Okay. We're gonna leave these two on, and we're gonna connect reconnect the stabilizer bar. Okay. Uh, drive back just a little bit. Okay, and then let's line ourselves up again. Okay. Drive forward. Keep the wheel straight. Keep going forward. Turn left, turn left a little bit. Now straighten it out. Okay, now let's go to manual first gear. And so you're in drive right now. Yeah. And now manual, when you first engage manual, it goes to second gear. You have a plus and minus here, Victor. Mm -hmm. Choose the minus, boom. Okay, and you're so not... it's changing right here. Mm -hmm. So we started off in M2, manual yeah. two. And if I hit it, no, it's in first. In first gear. Okay. So now you're in a lower gear for low. You're locked front and rear diff. Crawling speed. Let's climb this rock. And you want to climb and stop at the very top of it. You don't want to go up and over, okay? Okay. And so you do also have this view right here where you can see your tire, ah. okay? And so... Uh, this is where the jagged edge is, and I think you're lined up perfectly. Nice and slow. Let's start climbing. Easy with the throttle. And then I go just a little bit more. Right there, stop. Okay. So now, now we're, we're articulating here with yeah, the, yeah. the rear tires off the ground. And so what would you do here, Victor? So, so you have grip? Disconnect the stay bar. Boom. Oh, back man. tires back right, to the ground. Right on it. Yeah. You felt it, right? You feel it every time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, how about uh, you turn, you, you go to reverse. Okay. And climb, uh, climb off the rock, nice and easy. Beautiful, buddy. There you go. All right, so take me to Baja. Okay. And so to go to Baja, you, you're in full low right now, so you got to go to neutral. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. And then spin the dial. And then Baja's the one, the one next to rock right there. So notice uh, this will start blinking. It'll go solid. This, this is your transfer case, by the way. Mm -hmm. It went to four by four, and it, and it reconnected everything for you. Gotcha. Why? Okay. Because in Baja, you can do any speed, any speed. Okay. okay. What's cool about it too is that in Baja, you can also engage too high. Okay. On the fly, so you can do is it better to have too high or four high in Baja, or does it just depend on what you want to do? Good question. So um, you don't have sport mm -hmm. in your vehicle. Okay. You don't have sport uh, like the wild track, but mm -hmm. you do have rock and crawl. Okay. You may want to try Baja, yeah. right, buddy? Okay. Okay. Let's uh, take us back to campus. All right. So I have it in Baja mode. Uh, I got permission to go back to base, so I'm just gonna maybe get up to 25 miles an hour, but I want to hear and see what it feels like. Let's see. Everybody's clear. Looking good. Oh, it gets up quick. Still holding the gear. It is holding the gear. That's because you still have torque. Oh, yep. that's cool. Look at that. That's cool. So it stays on at all times when you're in Bahama. It doesn't oh, turn off. That's yeah. awesome. In normal, uh, eco, uh, slippery, it'll turn off after five miles per hour. Yep. Man, well, that was an awesome. Nice meeting you, Victor, man. I'm you glad too. you made it, yeah, buddy. Yeah, man. You, you were perfect for, for well, my thank taste you, man. Like, yeah. Now, I think the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to this B&O system. Do it, buddy. But I'm going to, you know, probably not 
record that because of copyright. Okay. But man, thank you again for this experience. This has been fun. All the Broncos are here just to see them side by side. I'll go down the line and just show you what Broncos they have, the available colors. Now, although we're in 2022, we don't have the chili pepper red, which is the new red color. And we don't have the, the green. I forgot what green is called, but they do have the canister. Uh, I'll show you in a few minutes all the different colors of the 2022 colors. But right now, I'll just go down the line when I, after I listen to the BNO system and just um, show you a quick overview of the vehicles that are here, unless they're out for a drive for the next uh, session of people. So we went out, Victor, and I point, and we you you engaged uh, a lot of the features. This is a four cylinder, so um, the only feature that we weren't able to engage. This was, was a four. This is a two point three four cylinder. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. And so um, the only feature we didn't engage uh, was one pedal, okay? okay? But we spoke about it. But if you're wondering about it, uh, because you do have it in yours, you can you have the owner manual here in your vehicle. So um, this is your productivity screen. And then if you go to features, you tap that tile, it, it pops up on the screen, the owner, owner manual, then you select it. And then um, and then within the owner manual, and manual, you have videos. Everything we did out there, Victor, um, is covered by this video right here. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna crank up the rate. Go ahead and crank it up. Your Ford Bronco was born for the trail. So yours may be equipped with some features that can help you conquer those trails. Man, that is super clear. Yeah, yeah. super clear. Trail control is like cruising. And I mean, it's not music, but the clarity alone and just listening to this audio, yeah. And I've heard the, the standard radio that's not the BNO and it is not the same caliber. It's a whole different animal. Your speed. So from listening to it, the sound is immersive. It completely surrounds you and we're in a soft top, so yeah it sounds amazing in here so there's 10 speakers mm -hmm. in the in the vehicle mm -hmm. yeah 10 speakers uh and uh in the bno and, and it's uh yeah and it's in the regular standard is six correct six speakers yeah. and it does not include a sub in the other one uh in the bno i know it yeah, does yeah okay think, yeah. cool man well thank you so much man my for this pleasure, experience buddy. my pleasure hey guys <laughs> we're finishing up this video it's been a great experience Thank you again, man. This was my awesome. pleasure. You did great out there. Hey, I did what I, I can. I, I, I felt comfortable. You know, a lot of a lot of people are transitioning from just uh, driving normal cars like sedans and buying the Bronco. And so when we go out, uh, it's 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 it, it, it's it's we have to be really careful. You know, guiding them out there because they they uh, they're just learning. But. Um, you're a total pro, man. You oh, made, man, you make you, you made me comfortable out there. I, I, I was fine, man. Good, I had a man. good time. I feel good, man. <laughs> yes. I'm about to have a tear. About to have a tear. <laughs> All, right. All right, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. So I'm very thankful that Ford sent me the invite for this, and I'm looking forward to getting my own Bronco. Thank you guys for uh, staying with me all the way through this video. If you have not already, please like and subscribe for more content to come. And thanks for checking out Vic's Venerated Vlog on this Bronco just test drive. Not the off rodeo, but it's off road with the Bronco. Man, how was your experience? It was good. It, it didn't get as in depth because apparently mine was broken. Oh. So the real somebody life, broke it. Somebody. <laughs> I asked them if it was a break it you buy it scenario. They said no. Um, but we apparently the rear locker was already broke, so we couldn't do the big stuff. Uh, but we got to do some fording, some uh, like the trail turn, some other aspects. Got to uh, go over some ledges to see how the cameras work. So it was pretty nice. Um, mine had the Lux package, so it was yeah. Lux. Mine uh, did too. Getting man. dirty and in luxury. Man, it was nice. It was and nice. I mean, unlike you, mine wasn't broken, so I got a chance to do a lot that you know you've seen in the video. So if you get an opportunity and you get an email from Ford saying they have a drive the Bronco experience, it's legit. Do it. You should do it. Uh, it was worth it, I think. Ask for Skip or Juan. Yeah. Yeah, they were amazing yeah. guides. So thank you guys. We'll see you on the next Vix Venerated Vlogs. You might see Brooks again, you know, as we see come you. out and do some Bronco stuff. So, <laughs> hey, if you're in the DFW area, hit me up. Uh, let's connect. All right. Later. Bye.